Here are some ideas and project inspiration if you're new to laser cutting and engraving, or if you're thinking about getting started with a laser machine. These easy beginner projects for laser cutting and engraving are a good place to start and a great way to explore what your machine can do with a variety of materials. For these projects, we're using a range of easy to find materials from plywood, glass, slate, paper and stainless steel. All the projects in this video are completed on the Xtool S1 with a 40 watt diode laser module. The base machine settings will be shown for each project so you can adjust accordingly for your machine. Ok at number 12 we're starting off with a sheet of standard printer paper. Paper is a low cost material and it's quick to cut out on the laser machine. The machine settings for this material is 50% power at 60 millimetres per second. Cutting out the paper on the laser machine, we can get some interesting detailed geometric patterns. These patterns are easy to create and a great way to explore ideas. Another thing we can make out of printer paper or cardboard is a stencil. A stencil is a useful item for marking boxes. With a stencil cut out, it's taped onto a cardboard box with some masking tape. Then black spray paint is applied to the lettering and the logos. The stencil is removed from the box and we're left with a quick and nicely marked logo on the box ready for shipping. At number 11 we've got a piece of leatherette suitable for laser engraving. This one is a soft brown PU leather which when engraved it turns gold. There's also black gold, black silver, brown silver and blue silver options available. The machine engraving settings for this material is set at 10% power at 200 millimetres per second with 100 lines per centimetre. The laser marked leatherette gives an interesting effect and the gold layer makes the design stand out. This is another great material for exploring designs and ideas. At number 10 we're using a blank slate coaster. Slate coasters are easy to engrave and a great way to protect your tabletop with a custom design. For this piece of slate, the engraving power is set to 30% and with a speed of 240 millimetres per second and the lines per centimetre is set to 200. Engraving onto the slate coaster produces a nice grey contrast with clean detail edges around the design. At number 9 we're engraving onto glass. When engraving onto glass with a blue diode laser, we need to add a darker surface to prepare the material for it to work. Otherwise the diode laser will just pass straight through. On this example we're using laser marking paper and this is a water transfer that is applied to the glass surface. For this piece of glass, the engraving power is set to 13% with a speed of 100 millimetres per second and the lines per centimetre are set to 100. Once complete, the marking paper is removed and it can be washed off with water to reveal the engraving result. At number 8 we're customising pencils. It's really easy to add names or a quote to the side of a pencil. The machine settings for engraving this material are set to 30% power at 200 millimetres per second with 100 lines per centimetre. This is a quick and simple project to complete and adding text to the side is a great way to customise a pencil. At number 7 we're making a multi-layered cactus design. This has individual pieces cut out on a 3mm plywood sheet and then these parts are painted and glued together. The machine cutting settings for this material is 100% power at 15mm per second.
All the cutout paths are removed from the laser. And these are painted with acrylic paints, but you can also use spray paint if you like. To assemble the parts, wood glue is applied to the back of each piece with a small brush, and then these parts are built up in layers. The finished result gives a nice three-dimensional effect and it's a great way to make designs with layers of plywood. Next a quick message from today's video sponsor. PCBWay is a one-stop solution for PCB prototypes and assembly. With more than a decade in the field, they're also providing CNC machining, laser cutting, sheet metal fabrication, injection moulding and a 3D printing service. Sometimes we don't have all the required tools at home or in the workshop for our projects, so this is the perfect solution for producing high quality parts. Getting parts made is a super easy process. On the PCBWay site, simply select the service required, upload a CAD file, then fill out the details for the quantity, material type and other properties. You will receive a quote and then submit your request and once the order is placed, the part will be made and shipped out to you. If you're looking to get some PCB boards made, CNC machine parts, sheet metal fabrication or 3D printed parts for your next project, see the link in the video's description for PCBWay's site and check them out. Thanks again to PCBWay for sponsoring today's video. At number 6, a handy project to make is garden stakes. These labels can be cut out of black acrylic or wood. The machine cutting settings for this material are 100% power at 10mm per second. This is a quick and simple project to make and a great way to label your plants in the garden. At number five, we've got a two layered skeleton hand cutout. This is made out of three millimeter plywood and once cut out, all the pieces are reassembled like a puzzle. The machine settings for this material are set at 100% power at 15 millimeters per second. With the parts cut out, the outer piece is given a few light coats of black spray paint. While this dries, the inner pieces are painted white. With the parts painted, we begin the assembly by applying wood glue onto the backing plate with a brush. The painted parts are then placed onto the backing plate and glued together. The completed item looks great and by using this method, we can create some really interesting designs. At number four, we're customizing a cardboard box. It's easy to add text or a pattern to any part of a cardboard box with a laser engraver. The machine engraving settings for this material are set at 20% power at 300 millimeters per second. This is a great way to customise packaging with an interesting and creative design. At number three, we're engraving onto denim fabric. Engraving onto denim is an interesting idea to make custom jean patches. For this, you'll need to experiment with your laser to get the best settings to vaporise the dye without burning through the material. Using some magnets will help keep the fabric flat and tight on the laser bed. The machine engraving settings for this material are set at 20% power at 300 millimeters per second. The finished result has a nice contrast between the logos and the denim fabric.
At number two, we're making a model guitar and amp with a thicker piece of wood. For the engraving, the power is set to 30% at 200 millimeters per second, and the lines per centimeter are set at 200. For the outer cut, the power is set to 100% at 4 mm per second. This is a great way to make small models of items or to make logos on thicker pieces of wood. At number one, we're engraving onto a round stainless steel tag. These can be used as key rings or to make custom pet tags. The machine engraving settings for this material are set at 60% power, at 240 millimeters per second, and at 200 lines per centimeter. The finished result is a nicely etched logo onto the stainless steel tag. I hope you enjoyed these projects and it gave you some ideas and inspiration for using your laser machine. Thanks for watching and if you made it this far, Comment below what's your favourite laser project to make.